Hi children. Today we will discuss about the Mansabdars and Jamindars and Naikas. They played very important role in Mughal administration. Now first we will see the differences between Mansabdar and Jamindar. Mansabdar. These were appointed by king. Jamindars were appointed on high. Here Mansabdars were under the control of emperors. Jamindars collected taxes from the people and acted as mediators. Here Mansabdars duties are in armed rank, protection of the country and suppressing the revolts were their chief duties. Here Jamindars duty was collecting taxes. Mansabdar cannot manage their own army. Jamindar can arrange and manage their own army. Now we will see the comparison between Nayaka and Mansabdar. Nayaka. They had given power over the villages and towns allotted to them such as collecting revenue, administration, judiciary, etc. Mansabdas received salaries from the Jagis. The military officers were appointed as Nayaka. Here Mansabdas positions were not very hierarchical. Here they ruled their villages and towns in all spheres. Here Mansabdas followed the emperor's will. Now we will see the another topic that Akbar's policy of universal peace of Sulhi Kul relevant to the condition of the present day Indian society. India is a poly religious, poly linguistic and polycultural society. In India we have all kinds of religions and faiths. We should all live in the harmony and without discriminations. All the subjects are equal before law. So the constitution made India a secular state. Still the communal feelings are very high in India. Religious fundamentalist groups of Pakistan uh, and India are causing insurgence in the country. Thus communalism has become a threat to the national integration of our country. So Akbar Sulhi Kul or universal peace or the idea of tolerance is very much relevant to present today Indian society. Akbar's idea of tolerance did not discriminate among people of different religions in his realm. It is based on the universally acceptable principles, honesty, justice and peace. Akbar's vision of governance says that the emperor would work for the welfare of all the subjects irrespective of their religion and social status and not just for the welfare of one community.